Poverty. Poverty is a word which by definition means the state of being poor, which can then be divided into other categories like absolute poverty and relative poverty, and the state of being inferior in quality or insufficient in amount. But in reality, poverty can mean much, much more. To some, it can mean starvation, squalor, and violence, but to many, it means limited opportunities, hardship, and a sense of inadequacy. Poverty robs children of education and adults of health. Poverty is a plague that desperately needs a cure. However, it is finding that cure which causes much conflict. Poverty has been studied for years and years and years. Philosophers and sociologists alike have desperately searched for an explanation to poverty and that ever needed cure. However, I think that it is much simpler. Poverty is a result of separation, and it is separation, social divides, that are making poverty so hard to combat. Place two people at a table. One person has numerous bowls full of food, whilst the other has none. Naturally, the one with more will donate some food to the one with none. Now place a wall between these two people. The one with plenty will eat until they are satisfied. Meanwhile, the other starves. Now place them in two different houses, cities, countries. Divide them by fences, mountains, and oceans. The result of this wall is that those with more cannot see the need of those with less which prevents people from helping others for the sole reason that they cannot see the true extent of the problem. If you look around the world, you will see that these divides are everywhere, between nations, some even physical, between areas of the city you live in, even within your own family. They speak differently. They must be posh. That is building a wall. They smoke. I don't. That is wrong building a wall. They live there, I live here, yet again that is building a wall. These walls prevent us from seeing, learning, helping. These walls make us more selfish. These walls make us care more about our far future than others' painful present. But why would there be these walls if they were so destructive? We put up these walls so that we may focus on and improve ourselves. But what we don't realise is that if these were, walls were abolished and we cared for others, in turn, others would care for us. However, how does this affect your life? What walls are there in your life? What was your reaction the last time you saw a beggar on the street? Did you think, what an unfortunate person, and converse with them? Or did you think more along the lines of, they're probably not even homeless anyway, and walk on, desperate not to make eye contact, just like everyone else? But it is okay, after all, they would have just spent the money on drugs, right? You could buy them food, and then you would be helping them even more. But even through these simple actions and thoughts, we are building walls. By making assumptions, and separating people from ourselves, we justify our selfish actions. We put up these walls because it is easier thinking that someone is a bad person and avoiding them than actually making the effort to break down these barriers. In order to er eradicate poverty, we must demolish these walls. We must get rid of our prejudices. We must not let people be seen as lower than ourselves because they are different. We must change the way that we have always looked at the world. We must look past the walls, the oceans, the mountains. We must open our eyes to the pain and the struggles of those around us. We must. When you leave here tonight, I want you to think about the walls you put up in your life. How do your actions and your thoughts build barriers that prevent you from seeing helping others. 
How can you see others as the same as you, rather than spotting their differences? Through simple actions and thoughts, you can change our world. Thank you very much for listening.